It's a rap, it's a rap, hey, it's a rap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would do. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. In this video, we're going to take my basic French nails and we're going to turn them into something Christmassy, okay? So if you already have your nails done and you don't want to get your nails done all over again, here are some ways to kind of turn your traditional nails into a Christmas themed situation, okay? So I went through all of my stamping plates and I have a lot of stamping plates. If y'all still want me to do a video showing you guys all of my stamping plates, then let me know so that I can film that for you all. So I pulled some snowflakes. We got um, a snowman here. Over here we got a present. We got a candy cane with a bow around it. Over here, we got some little Christmas trees, more snowflakes, some Santa Clauses, a tree, a bell, a tree and some snow, that's cute. And on this one, we have a little present, okay? So we're gonna play with these and spice these nails up so since i have the white tip on my nails i thought that that could kind of represent snow on some of the nails that i wanted to keep it on on some of the other nails i think i'm going to paint the nail a different color and then stamp on top of it so you guys will get to see all of that some things that you will see me using i have some stampers from Amazon and I have some uh, maniology stampers as well as some maniology nail polishes so I'm going to try to use some of those today along with my um P P Queen or however you say that that company that has all of the stamp stamping this company I'm going to use some of their uh, polishes as well so first I went in and painted my middle finger and my pinky red and any overhang or anything I cleaned up with a brush and some acetone and I did two coats of this The two coats covered the white tip enough for me, but if you feel like it continues to show through, then you can definitely go in with three coats. Then I'm going to take my stampers and run over them with a lint roller. Then I got this Maniology polish. It's in like kind of a blue green color. And I'm going to use this to do my Christmas tree. So I like to use the stampers that you can see through because they come in handy. As you can see, I could look through there and place that Christmas tree exactly where I wanted it to go. Now for this nail, I didn't like the end result, so you're going to see me redo it. But I just left this footage in here just in case somebody else may like the idea. So I put the snowflakes on that pink part of my nail. And then I went on top of it with two candy canes. And I didn't like that. So I eventually will wipe it off with some acetone. So here I tried to pick up this little present and it didn't pick up. So I got some acetone and wiped my plates off and this helped. So if you haven't wiped your plates off in a while, 
then give that a go if your stamps are not picking up. So this is me looking at my nails like, mm -mm, and then I just took that off. So now I'm going to try it again. And I use the lint roller to clean up anything that will kind of mess up the stamp and I use it to clean the stamper after I'm done. So here I'm going back into these snowflakes but I am applying them a different way than I did the last time. And for some reason I like that better and the next thing that I put on that nail made me fall in love with it. So here I'm going back in with a black Christmas tree. And because I can see through the stamper, I put it kind of shifted a little bit to kind of get like a 3D effect. And then I went in with this snowman in black on top of the nail with all of the snowflakes. And this is now like my favorite nail. So I think the first time I didn't like it because I didn't have the snowflakes all over the nail. And then putting the snowman in the snow like that, it just really made it amazing. So here I'm going in with some white snowflakes on the red nails. And I did my cleaning up with acetone and a brush, but I am going to talk about another way that you can clean up later in the video. So on the middle finger, I put a big snowflake toward the bottom of the nail and a little one toward the top of the nail. And on my pinky, I kind of have the snowflake kind of half on the nail and I just think that gives like a different cool effect and this is the little snowflake that I'm going to put on my middle finger remember I clean up anything that will kind of mess up the design so that the only thing that's on the stamper is exactly what I want to transfer. For my thumbnail, I had to kind of improvise a little bit. I went in with a Santa Claus and kind of positioned him so that his beard would be in the white tip. And I tried for that present again. That present was just giving me grief. I really wanted it in that kind of purple shade from Maniology, but it just was not working for me. Here you can see, well, maybe I didn't show y'all, but it just didn't pick up. So I used the black polish, and the white and the black polish is from the... Um, P Queen Company and their polishes work really well so I was able to get the present in that black polish but the bow didn't pick up so I tried to use the bow from the other present so that's what you see me doing now with the red and by this time I was like you know what my nails look great I'm done with this so after I kind of stamped on that little bit of red from the other present, I just went in with some red and put a little drop on Santa's hat and added some more on the present and just called it a day. So I wanted to say that when I did the big 
snowflakes and it got on my skin you can definitely use a latex product that will um you know you put it on it dries you do the stamping and then you peel it off so that the stamping won't be on your hand if you don't want to clean it up with acetone like i did you can definitely use a product like this for this christmas tree i wanted to add a little bling at the top of the tree and maybe something on the tree so to do that i'm going to use this uh four rhinestones only i got this at uh sally's beauty supply so i'm going to use this to pop a few of these little colorful rhinestones on my christmas tree so i went looking in my stash for a yellow star and i found purple stars i didn't really want to do that so that's why i went with the rhinestone option so originally i thought okay you know put the rhinestone at the top of the tree but then i added some green rhinestones on the tree kind of like ornaments and let me tell y'all my christmas tree nail is everything now with the polish that i used when i pressed a stone on it and picked the stone back up or moved it it kind of picked the polish up a little bit so the next time i do this i will go in with the smudge free top coat first let that dry and then i will add my rhinestones so if you are trying this that's just you know a thought so after i did that then i went in with the smudge free top coat so definitely do that first if you're trying to add rhinestones and this is what they are looking like so far and you can't forget your cuticle oil so if you do not have any make sure you check the description bar to grab some from my website so this is the complete look i absolutely love them this is a great way to take nails you already have everyday you know french traditional nails and then spice them up for the holiday so this was my first time using this smudge free top coat by maniology and i really like it the nail polish didn't you know rub off or anything when i applied it on top of the stamping so that is a huge plus i really hope you guys enjoyed this video I loved it. It was quick and easy. Nice little, you know, cute design I can do before I decide to com completely, you know, redo my nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of nail transformation. It was a great idea for me to do my Christmas nails like this instead of completely redoing my nails. So make sure you guys leave me some comments. Leave me some suggestions below of some other holidays or, you know, ideas of nail designs that you guys want to see me do. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this video with your friends. Make sure you remember to keep God first, family second, and career third. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays. It's the wrap. It's time for you to choose from what you a dose. It's a one-stop shop. It's a wrap. Yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.